in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed and that transformation is happening by the power of the word of god the word of god not only gives you knowledge it translates you to become what he's saying and it empowers you to demonstrate the reality of what you claim to know any truth that you have and you know that cannot be demonstrated is not yet a revelation in your life hallelujah and so I want to challenge us that our passion in this place, we must keep our passions high, even as we seek to press, to know him and to understand his ways. I give you a guarantee. The Bible says they are life to them, those who find them. Not everybody will find them. They are not life to Christians, to those who find them. And health to their flesh. Ah, Kenny, it's good to see you. Hallelujah. And so I want to share with us a few things that will challenge us. Because it's my desire that the least of us will be as great as David. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Knowledge is like an atmosphere. It commands possibilities in your life. It's not about trying. It's either it is there is not hallelujah are you blessed already so make sure that you are learning constructively the goal is not just to carry out a service you know that we have no business with religion here the goal is to empower you praise the Lord come promise look at this please bring your what you are holding Watch this, everyone. What is he holding? What is he holding? You are holding a book. You are aware you are holding a book. If I try to convince you that you are not holding anything, will you agree? Is it an issue of prayer? You are, this is called reality. You are holding on to something that has become a conviction. Please listen to me. This is not something you are trying to believe. This is not something that is subject to debate or the opinions of men. See, the degree to which you become stable in the kingdom, um, your stability is proportionate to the depth of your conviction. Whenever you are not convinced about a reality, it's easy for you to drift. Either when it does not yet produce result, or when there seem to be conflicting opinions the apostle said but i know whom i have believed i wasn't just told about him i know he says and i am persuaded unshakable immovable that revelation has become a conviction for me and i stand upon it this is what god is doing with us bringing us to a point where we are convicted that you know that you are holding something you are holding something that you can take to the world and no devil no culture no system no limitation no gate can stop you it's not just a prophecy it's a resultant effect of paying attention there are some things when you hold on to you have entered your sabbath it's not if it is when is God speaking to us now? Thank you. Acts chapter 3. The Bible talks to us about 
the activities of the early church please pay attention jesus had resurrected the bible tells us in acts chapter 1 how that he was with them for a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was helping them to be grounded in truth are we together and after the holy ghost had come in acts chapter 3 the bible says in the hour of prayer they were going to pray and then they saw a man he was begging for arms he had been there at gate beautiful and the bible says this time around when peter and john came peter looked at him and he made a very interesting statement in verse 6 chapter 3 of acts verse 6 and peter said silver and gold have i none he says but what such as i have the question is at what point did he know he had it because there was a time he did not have it is that true at what point what was the evidence that what happens to a man to know you've had something are you getting what i'm saying now he said such as i have i give i have something and i'm not only it's not just i am aware of it and it can be dispensed i have it i know that i have it i understand the dynamics of his operation and i can release it to you he said such as i have i give and he said in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk let's see what happened the next verse please watch what happened he says when he said that the man was still sitting he didn't stand up he was still sitting and the bible says his sitting was not going to sway peter for peter to say i'm not sure again peter said i know i have it whether you don't respond it doesn't change my persuasion such as i have you don't know the activities that sponsor my conviction your refusing to act is too small to shake me and he held his hands because he knew he had something and he was insisting i have something and when i speak to you there should be an effect and if there is no effect i insist he says such as i have many of us seeing that man seated would have quietly moved away for the shame that is lack of conviction you you think you have something now a man stands before you and challenges your conviction and at once you chicken out but peter said no way i know i have it you are just meeting me you don't know who else i have met you don't know the 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 revelations that support my audacity i know i have something and the man was just looking many people have told me to try standing up and peter said you don't know me and the bible says he held his hands he knew he had something that revelation persuaded him enough he stood before that challenge and would not be embarrassed because he knew it must work hmm. is god speaking to us he says and he took him by the hand and what and lifted him and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength to validate that he had something to give listen peter would have looked at him and said well john you too you saw i tried we did exactly what jesus said oh god please don't be embarrassed after all we didn't collect money and he would have gone back that would not change the fact that he had something but it was not released peter said such as i have i'm not only aware i understand that it is supposed to be dispensed and i refuse to allow what i am seeing to influence my convictions he says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded not confused persuaded the problem with the church is lack of persuasion the grounds upon which our audacity is standing upon is fragile we don't take time to establish conviction upon kingdom realities we're in a hurry to get rema we're in a hurry to get revelation we're in a hurry to get knowledge let me tell you something the world is ruled by men of conviction dead or alive you don't respect a man because you believe in him you respect a man because of consistency of conviction when a man becomes unbending 
he commands your respect at once that's why we cannot pretend that Boko Haram is a force to reckon with they will be defeated but their convictions are strong strong unto death are you getting what I'm saying now? the only reason the only reason why faith is an issue in the church is because our convictions are small hallelujah and so when we sit down like this as the word of God comes it gives us understanding it not only tells you what you have it explains to you the dynamics of it so that you get to a realm of persuasion where nothing can shake you say amen, amen. listen pay attention to what I'm saying because life will challenge it at any level ask any leader life will challenge your convictions from head to toe and the gates will only open when you prove that you merit it opening not everything in the kingdom is a gift there are things that are rewards rewards for consistency rewards for persuasion hallelujah are we together when the holy spirit comes please listen when the holy spirit comes upon a believer at new birth i want you to know that the coming of the holy spirit in every one believer that gives his life to christ introduces the presence of god to that man's life a presentation of the presence of the father the bible tells us again and again is that true so when the holy spirit comes listen comes to live in you he represents the presence of God and with him Kataya, is a measure of God's ability at work in you everybody say God's ability say it one more time God's ability say God's energy say God's capacity when the Holy Spirit dwells in a man his presence comes with a measure of God's ability at work in that man now whether or not you know it whether or not you use it is a different thing but that is the truth because scripture cannot be broken are we together now so when the holy spirit comes he comes with a measure of god's ability this is very interesting because the kingdom was designed never to function absolutely by the strength of man listen the changes that humanity requires cannot be affected just by the, the strength of man it cannot just be affected by intellect it cannot just be affected by kindness and charity it takes more than that it takes an ability that is supernatural it takes the ability of god to bring transformation not just preaching do you know what it means to speak to a man and just by speaking make that man change his ideologies an ideology that he has hold or he's held true for decades and then in one meeting you speak and he's persuaded enough it's called utterance not oratory oratory is the ability to speak well you learn that in school utterance is the capacity to communicate spiritual realities on the strength of god's ability such that the listener is able to enter into your experience that is utterance it's not oratory what we have in church is oratory but we need utterance it's a gate that gives you access to the ability of the spirit to persuade men such that they subscribe to the value system of the kingdom are we together so the ability of the holy spirit that brings it that divine life many christians jump and about having the divine life but we do not see the evidence of that divine life that divine life that dwells within you and it comes with a measure of the ability of the spirit if you do not recognize that there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you you will rob yourself of the capacity to function like god 
God gave us his ability so that we can produce his result. Listen, listen. Only God's kind of result can bring change and impact in our world. Only God's kind of result can bring blessings. Only God's kind of result can bring lifting. Only God's kind of result can bring transformation. If you're with me, say amen. God's ability. That's what we call power. That's what we call the anointing. The anointing is not oil. The anointing is God's energy. His very ability. We define power in physics as what? Work done per unit time. Energy expended. That's exactly the definition of the ability of God. His capacity. When God wants to do anything, He depends on His ability. And so when He sends you as His ambassador, He gives you His ability. God's ability. Say it again. God's ability. One definition of frustration is to try to achieve God's kind of result with your ability. You will see how crippled you look in life. Say after me, I have the ability of God. How many people have gone to sick people out of zeal and kindness? You are sick, Sam. In the name of Jesus, be healed. By their ability, they want to see God's result. But they are conscious of their ability. No. It is not given to man. Please hear me. It is not given to man to produce God's result with his ability. How many pastors and churches are frustrated because they are trying to get growth? They are trying to get this and, and all kinds of teachings. It takes the ability of God. Shout it, God's ability. Listen, listen. I'm telling you this. Don't just allow the scientific world fool you. The realm of the spirit controls the physical realm. It was James the apostle that told us, For as the body without the spirit, there must be a spirit component to everything for it to work. I don't care what it is if there is no spirit component it is there there must be a spirit component to business there must be a spirit component to your academics there must be a spirit component to marriage i love you i love you is not enough there must be a spirit component there must be a spirit component to anything that we do the problem is many times we ignore the spiritual side because we think it is not necessary oh my goodness oh my goodness how helpless a man is brothers and sisters how helpless in the face of this cruel life there are gates on every mountain there are giants on every mountain it doesn't take stories to move them it takes the ability There are devils standing on the gates of your finances. It takes the ability of God. Why do we need the ability of God? It's his power to effect changes. Listen. Change can never occur until the power of God is present in a place. Any kind of change. The ability to effect change from healings to miracles to soul winning to transformation it is entirely dependent on the ability of god there are so many people who try to do evangelism sincerely from their heart but there is no ability how many times have we stood in the face of situations that honestly demand the touch of god but we know that we are short of God's ability. God gave you his ability so that you can truly produce change. The Bible says in John chapter 15, it says, Herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit. So then shall he be my disciples. God wants us to bear fruit, but it takes an ability. An ability higher and greater than yourself. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The second reason why we need the ability of God is to be able to produce supernatural results. Please write it down. Supernatural results. If your results are natural, the world does not have space for you. 
the 21st century does not have space for natural results the minimum standard in our world today is a supernatural it takes an ability of God for a mortal man to produce results out of proportion hmm. the Bible says they were astonished when they saw Jesus Christ and they saw the kinds of results that he was producing let me tell you something don't ever allow anybody preach you into thinking results do not matter in the school of greatness only God sees the heart men can only see the outward appearance please are you hearing what I'm saying don't ever let anyone fool you it's God that can see the heart you can die with your good intentions if you want to influence men you must let your light shine not let your light glow it must shine for men to see not angels God wants them to see it it is in the seeing that they become persuaded therefore permit your light to so shine before men that they may see your good works and as a result glorify your father John 17 verse 1 Jesus was speaking he said now the hour has come he was speaking to the Lord he said glorify now thy son to the end that thy son will bring you glory so the only way God is glorified is when we are glorified our glorification is a means to an end not an end in itself it gives God the opportunity because no man can praise himself you need another to praise you it's against the law of greatness for you to praise yourself when you praise yourself it's called arrogance when another man praises you it's called honor hallelujah so we need the ability of God to produce changes there are people here who are sick it doesn't take stories we can shout and jump around and just make a lot of noise when they tell your dad in the office or your mom we are going to fire you brothers and sisters it takes the ability of the spirit to change it when the landlord tells you tomorrow if you cannot bring your money you are out it takes what the ability of God the problem is this we have ignored the ability of God in the church we believe in God but we have ignored his ability that anointing that agency of the spirit that empowers men to produce change and to produce result this ministry by the grace of God is a testimony of God's ability the ability of God walking through men And I want that to become your testimony from tonight. That tonight you will give up on just trying to get things happen by your strength. When you depend on God's ability, you will see results that are out of proportion. Praise the Lord. Tonight is a very simple teaching. Until the ability that is within a believer is released, he can never be a blessing to his generation I want you to know this until the ability that is resident within a believer is released not acquired not gotten your being anointed does not make any meaning to your generation until that anointing is released the release of that ability is what brings about blessings the Bible says no man lights a lamp and puts it under a bush no man does that but you the purpose of lighting it is so that it can give illumination and direction so until the ability or the anointing is released the believer can never be a blessing you only become a blessing when you allow the measure of God's ability in you to find expression in your physical world the Bible says, and the word became flesh and did what? It now dwelt among men and they beheld the glory. They could never behold the glory for as long as it was in the realm of the spirit. But when it became flesh, Shadrach, it's good to see you. I'm happy seeing my people. Praise the Lord. The word became flesh. The anointing that God has given you, when it translates into wisdom that men can relate with, 
when it translates into creativity that men can relate with when it translates into dunamis power the capacity to produce change here and now then christ is glorified otherwise we'll keep talking a lot of stories that which is resident within you must find expression for christ to be glorified are we together now now the problem with many of us seated here is not that we are not anointed it's not that the hand of god is not upon our lives but that inability to understand the dynamics of expressing the ability of god is what has crippled us and so we stand before mountains we can walk over and yet we cry before them the reason is because we have not come to a point where we realize that the ability of god is at work in us moses listen moses stood before the red sea god did not add anything to him right there there was the ability to cross over but he was afraid when he went back god just said why are you coming to me i gave you a rod the word is in your mouth tell the people to move forward he went back and did what he would have done in the first place do you know that many times when you go to god most of the things you get from him is comfort because actually you have the ability to do what you do but just because our psychology is built around just hearing something from god and so god said it is well now go and then you get up and go you would have done that right away are you getting what i'm saying now your going and that reception of comfort was just to encourage you but all the while the ability was within you when he appeared to gideon in the book of judges chapter 6 when he looked at him what did he call him oh thou mighty man of failure but gideon was hiding there was no special impartation service he just said gideon what is going on ah, gideon said god you too you know what is going is happening and he began to tell him how that he was going to go and defeat the midianites there is an ability within you i'll never forget the first time god told me this thing listen it's not enough to know god is mighty this was a song that gave me that revelation you know this song lord you reign forever lord you reign forever i worship you yes ago i was singing this song i worship you this was the part that changed me you reign you reign you reign you reign that's you talking to the lord and i heard it very clearly like a man singing back to me this was what i heard you reign cause i reign you reign cause i reign you reign this is what god is telling me back he's responding to my worship and saying son it's not enough to know i reign there's no confusion about that the trouble is here on earth so reign because i reign now that you are aware i've told you you are like me i expect a legislation that is consistent with what is happening in heaven that way the kingdom comes it's not enough to say lord i know you are reigning what is happening to us here we are dying keep reigning let's keep dying no no it says thy kingdom come thy will be done where in the earth not in heaven there is no confusion about order in heaven the confusion is here so he says rain and it gave me an understanding not just these things people jump around i'm a king i'm a king and go and die like a fool you jump based on knowledge and revelation see you can have something and you can take it anywhere believe me i know what i'm saying a man can have something and you can hold on to it and run with it that's what god is speaking to us he reigns so you reign he reigns so you reign so he expects you to legislate listen listen a man called saint patrick have you heard about saint patrick a man called saint patrick the son of the king had died for six months how many months six months they had buried him and he was he was bringing a lot of catastrophe and that man called saint patrick walked straight to the grave and signed his name on it saint patrick and they opened it and dug out a human being alive it's in history men who knew they had something 
not independent of God. Listen, with God, all things are possible. I've demonstrated it for you here. Come, promise. Can I use you again? With promise, all things are possible. Without Him, some things are no longer possible. But with Him, the word with God there means in partnership. In partnership. That's why we call it koinonia. In partnership, there is an ability. You and God constitute an unbeatable team. Have you watched wrestling? How they can beat somebody as if they are passing him through a meat machine. And then, on the other side, his colleague is there, bouncing and saying, touch me. Show that you, you, you are weak, but we are a tag team. Is that true? If you win, we share the money together. If you lose, we lose together. It's a partnership. And so the Holy Ghost is standing and telling you look look you have been going around this mountain why don't you come into partnership with me there is an ability within you listen listen there is an ability it's called energes the greek word is energes it says now unto him philippians 3 uh, 20 unto him who is able he has an ability to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or think not according to his might according to the power that works not in heaven in you in you the possibilities in your life are dependent on activating the anointing and the ability of the spirit within you and so like the wrestling someone lifts his hands and have you seen the way people touch the other i mean they almost have no strength and they touch somebody else and he jumps in and plays nonsense with the one who has been beating his colleague and wins and then he holds the guy who is a team together and they lift the belt together he doesn't leave the belt and say you when you are tired stand up and walk home he lifts him and says we won listen i'm bringing you into a revelation that your victory starts from the standpoint a consciousness that with you and the holy ghost never do anything outside of the holy ghost you will fail it's not a prophecy it was designed to happen that way master we have toiled all night but in partnership with your word let's go back and watch a miracle are you hearing what i'm saying now prophet elijah outside of the holy spirit he could not say anything he said look guys you want prophecy from me i can't move my human ability cannot do anything but play me a mistrial and the moment they began to play when the holy ghost came upon him he said now i have something to say fill these ditches with water you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water listen that is not yet possible in your life does not mean it is not possible it's amazing how a challenge can be killing you and somebody will come and pass it as if it does not exist there is an ability that sponsors that audacity and i want you to know that if you are in christ that ability is within you there is an ability i walk conscious of this every time i go to minister i walk conscious of this and the lord walking with them and the Holy Spirit walking, not just in Joshua Selman, but with Joshua Selman. There is a partnership, it's a koinonia. We are inseparable. It's like the, a salt covenant. Where I am foolish, I trust his wisdom. Where I am confused, there is strength. When I stand before a sick body, I know I am very aware. I'm intelligent enough to know that you cannot squeeze out cancer from somebody and it disappears at once i'm smart enough to know that that cancer is matter it has weight it can occupy space but then when his ability comes when his ability comes that's when the difference see listen don't trivialize what i'm sharing with you this is your recipe this is your key to unstoppable unstoppable exploits in the kingdom the ability of the spirit thank you let's take a few things i want us to pray let's take down a few things 
you must allow the measure of God's anointing within you to find expression and produce testimonies in the lives of people just two or three things I'll say again and then we'll pray God's ability in a man can grow and it can increase the ability of God that is resident within a man can grow every living thing grows God's ability is alive and so it can grow that you have received a measure of that ability listen listen the ability of the spirit in a man is like currency let me explain to you something please look up please look up who has money somebody give me money 1500 thank you watch this if this is 200 naira how many things can 200 naira buy 200 naira can buy a bottle of minerals is that true can it buy wine but is it money at least he can buy some things are you getting what i'm saying now let me explain to you something about god's ability god's ability in you can only solve problems that are within the range of the dimension of that ability anything higher than that measure watch this that measure cannot be solved although you have the ability listen 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 i want you to get this the ability of the spirit the anointing of the spirit at work in people is in levels and there are possibilities that are activated within that level and that measure are you getting what i'm saying when the measure of god's ability is at work in you every problem every giant every mountain that is within that range of power will be solved but everything higher than it will remain an obstacle Get this revelation and you will see the reason why although you are anointed some things have not changed praise the lord are you getting what i'm saying now thank you just like this currency watch this this is 200 naira it can buy wine mama put you can eat something with this now yam and, and akarankose watch this i can eat akarankose at mama put with this comfortably with dignity can this take you to a five-star hotel the restaurant but is this money so what do you need to do if you want to go to a five-star hotel increase the same thing not a different thing increase a measure of the very same thing are you getting what i'm saying listen that you have a measure does not mean the challenges in life respond to measures of the anointing measures of graces don't let any man fool you that the moment you have an ability it can solve every problem it's not true those who talk those things have not worked in the anointing believe me i know what i'm saying this is what i work in every day it's like a range when you upgrade on the level of the anointing that's why the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet but I got to a level where that would not be enough again. Then he had to measure a thousand cubits and the river increased. And it was to my knees. Are we together now? And then he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my lungs. Then he measured a thousand cubits and it was an overflowing river. And he said everywhere that river went, whatever was dead came alive. There are different levels of the anointing the ability of the spirit so a mountain can jump and leave and you go to another mountain and you can be shouting everything you know and the mountain steers you there are sick bodies that we may struggle around with in many crusades in nigeria and those sick bodies can be there let benny Hinn step in just two songs of worship i guarantee you not he has not even if he's talking about relationship it doesn't matter he can even teach on how to be a nice housewife and while he is teaching see the anointing does not care what is happening it whenever he sees a need and a demand for it it flows there immediately are you getting what i'm saying now so god's ability in you responding to a situation you can have a challenging issue that looks like a mountain and someone comes with the ability of god and brings a dimension of wisdom you never thought of 
and dissolves that thing in one minute and it's over case closed the ability of the spirit that was what happened to daniel they were about to slaughter them and kill them and he said ah, ah why is the king hasty in this all these people have tried their ability he said please just give us time and the bible says in the night the secret was revealed to daniel and he got up in the morning and answered the king same thing happened to joseph see how men took their generations by the ability of the spirit joseph did not become a prime minister because of interpretation of dreams joseph became a prime minister because he offered a very serious supernatural solution to the problem if he had interpreted dreams they would have said okay we have had you please um water go and lock him up and he would have just gone back highest they would have given him a day off and he's back to the prison but he was smart enough in addition to the dream he said i know this, the answer this is what we should do and when he said that look at him i love joseph he said oh king find a man he knew there was no man find a man check around don't trivialize my grace find a man if you can find another man with it no problem and the king said is he not here we kept quarreling asking people to come and interpret the dreams where can we find such a man that's why we worship the lord truly because there is nobody like him are you getting what i'm saying that's the reason why we worship him we love him searched all over couldn't find nobody i looked high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody prayed nobody prayed no nobody prayed and there is something the spirit of god will do to you that this song will become for you no not just for god i want you to always be conscious of god can give you a territory my brothers and my sisters i want you to listen to me god can put something upon your life that will make let me not go ahead of myself thank you sir That you come to a point where there is something in you without any show of pride you know it's not cheap and you know it's not what you find by the roadside listen when you explore the ability of god in you from border to border you will enter your sabbath experientially i guarantee you hmm. the bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of god hebrews chapter 4 right and he says let us therefore labor the word labor there is content even as unto death to enter that rest for he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works there are two ways the ability of god in you can grow number one is by revelation 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 grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge grace and peace be multiplied through knowledge through knowledge the word knowledge there's the word translated epignosis a comprehension of truth that makes the person who is knowing it and what is known become one not just awareness it's actually the word that is interpreted intercourse so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge hallelujah hmm. revelation when light comes to you then you will arise the bible says they that sat in darkness they have seen a great light great light arise and shine isaiah 60 he says for your light is come not your light is around the light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you it says it's one revelation god gave me watch this please if you are if you're a minister of the gospel here let me share with you a secret please look up money does not make a great ministry are you hearing what i'm saying you don't let any man fool you money does not make a great ministry it is impact that makes a great ministry 
and supplies finances financing ministry is a product of impact are you getting what i'm saying now impact and this is how it happens when your light starts shining gentiles will come unbelievers drug addicts all kinds of people will come kings will never come to your light when you become consistent and you keep growing it will start attracting brightness and excellence is a language there are those who know how to speak it the moment you start speaking their language they will come it says gentiles shall come to your light there is a level of ministry where all you see are gentiles people who are coming to be saved those coming to be sick somebody dragging his trolley of problems and coming to dump it and then you have to work on it but the time will come as your light begins to become bright like the day kings will start coming kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness the brightness of your rising and when they come like queen sheba they will not come empty-handed they will come with their bounties they will come with their blessings the wise men from the east when they saw jesus christ they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man they came to honor him every time there is brightness it begins to draw certain kinds of people so there are many men of god who are trying to look for money they are trying to look for money because they think money makes an impactful ministry what an error it doesn't work that way money is only a reward money is a receipt for doing something right we've learned it here when you get money as a man of god it's a receipt just like you buy something the receipt means you have paid for it not you will pay for it the receipt is an evidence that something has been done not is being done not will be done but the problem is we trivialize the ability of the spirit in us how many of us have looked like gideon and felt that there is nothing within us oh there is that great man of god there there is that great woman of god there and we forget mary was there standing and an angel appears to her and says blessed are you women among this and that and that and then he told her that she was going to carry a child and she said how shall these things be in other words naturally this should not happen seeing that i know not a man and the angel said something which is key for us this night it says the power of the highest that's how it happens the power of the highest shall overshadow you how can i be the last born in my family and yet i'm the one god will use to wipe the tears of people he says the power of the highest there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon you the second key to growing in the anointing and in god's ability is impartation 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 is a transference of spiritual virtues transference of spirits transference of possibilities a man who is a possessor of a dimension of possibility can share it like you use a candle to light another it is a possibility in the spirit that's the character of the dimension of god's ability called dunamis it's an ability that is capable of being reproduced. Listen, I've said it again and again. A true leader does not maintain followers. A true leader reproduces himself and turns followers into leaders. If Joshua Selman remains a superstar, and an anointed man everybody keeps clapping i have failed from the world's perspective and from the perspective of mediocre we keep clapping but let me tell you something god's dimension of measure or his index of measuring success is not just by the crowd we have inside and outside it is the individuals becoming a replica of his grace and anointing and his ability god measures success one by one he doesn't measure success by a crowd thank god for all of that it's an evidence of the hand of god but if we are to sample 10 people at random 
and engage you with spiritual challenges and see how you are able to navigate through the dynamics of the operation of the spirit it is a true measure of the success of this ministry the ability to be empowered and carry that conviction and go and begin to produce results around your sphere of influence and i insist that it must happen to you in the name of jesus christ so impartation and revelation write this down very quickly the channels for releasing the ability of god the ability of god must be released please burn this into your mind i'm being very simple tonight because i want us to have this basic understanding before we pray the anointing the ability of the spirit must be released for people to be blessed by it it must be released it's not just the obtaining of the ability of god but the dispensing the release of it that's what brings blessings to people God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me it's God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me sing it with me God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me and so when a mountain stands before you and you carry this ability you will move with audacity humanly speaking you should chicken out come on but i love david david stands with a sling conscious of an ability that is bigger than him and goliath said am i a dog i know i'll kill you but at least respect me come with knife as if you are fighting a man and david said i will not i would disgrace you let me even tell you how i will kill you this is what will happen this sling will hit you and i will remove your head it's god's ability when you see men do supernatural things brothers and sisters i want you to know it's god's ability what you see happening tonight is god's ability the energy the very strength of god manifested as wisdom manifested as power manifested as faith manifested the, the ability of god is what we call grace whether grace to become or grace to do is all called grace and it's god's ability that's what makes men champions that's what makes men wonderful people is the ability of god the ability of god is like a programming it's like a software when it enters you you are infected there's nothing you can do about it the moment you carry it your environment begins to respond that's the treasure that we have in earthen vessels it's not about the vessel but the treasure and god designed it the only way you benefit from the treasure is to carry the vessel along that's the reason why when a man is anointed you don't bring out the anointing and keep him you carry the man too as you honor the anointing you honor him when you bless the anointing anointing cannot eat is the vessel that eats it as his benefit for paying attention it's working in me look at the bible full of people who took advantage of this divine ability If you get this one thing I'm teaching you, you will change your life in a remarkable way. Hallelujah. Play this mic. Aaron sent me a text before I came here, Pastor. And um, he sent me a text and said, Man of God, I want you to explain to me what exactly happened in Port Harcourt. And then I looked and he said I was going to talk with him. I shared my Port Harcourt story. I shared it here, right? 
pastor he came from Port Harcourt. it's a land of greatness and a land of plenty listen i was going to Port Harcourt, and all i had watch this although god has corrected me recently because i've been running my mouth saying things i've grown now god has corrected me recently in one of my retreats i've been corrected so i will I, update my curriculum because i keep saying all i had was my bag that bag was a seed i know the kind of faith that brought that bag that bag was a seed i remember dragging that bag and the ministry was about this size then everybody and they were all escorting me as if they were going for a funeral and that was how we went to the park that park in um that park on your way to kaduna just this one yes that kwangila park and they dropped me there and i was laughing they were pity because they knew aside from my bus fare all i had left home and abroad in terms of monetary value was 800 naira and i was going to a land i had never gone to but i did not like the woman in second kings chapter 4 i forgot that i had an ability i kept looking at my rickety bag and all of this listen I dropped at number 23 Quarry Street around to 2 in the afternoon when I dropped there I knew I was stupid for sure because no right thinking human being would do what I had done and I stopped there 800 naira and I knew it would be foolish for me to try to look for a hotel to stay so the closest thing was at least to finish up the 800 naira and eat something with it so I went to one my mother was sharing something and watch this one thing i knew was that i was going to reign in that land i didn't know how to describe it but i knew there was an ability sometimes you need to come to the end of your road to now find out what you have been calling spare part whereas that is all you need second kings chapter 4 the woman lost everything the husband used the children as collateral when everything had gone the prophet said what do you have in your house he said nothing except and he said you call it except the vessel is only the oil is small because of the vessel that took it not because it is small when you expand capacity the oil will increase with it he said the oil is much it's only because the oil was housed in a small vessel borrow vessel enlarge your capacity and when that woman did that she became rich with it so i went there i'll never forget when i was eating the holy spirit just sent a signal to my spirit and i found out one of my friends that used to live there and i called him and i told him i'm here this and that and that can i come and stay for a while and then i came i went to the house and i stayed there listen my money had finished let me tell you what happened I was broke there was I mean things were bad then his sister was sick when his sister was sick I wasn't happy that she was sick don't misunderstand me but at least I was comforted that something <laughs> listen undertakers are not happy that people die but at least it is the make <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying now and so when she said she was sick I prayed for her when she was healed she came with a seed of 1000 naira listen that 1000 naira was what i used to buy my suit to do my first ministration the suit was not what you sell around the suit was this kind you see this kind that they move around with it you just call the man listen let me tell you a secret it's better than many things they hang around nobody will know it's only you that will know ah oh yes Are we together now i remember my friend in abuja calling one pastor in portacourt and say a mighty man of god is in town and he said all kinds of things about me and the man said and then it happened to be that the man was from my state watch this <sighs> no 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 play that thing i'm going to sing this song a lot this song we started that's our special number for this night that god's ability song listen god is my witness when I took a bike to go and see the pastor, he hosted us and another person. We ate in his house and then he went to go and introduce me to the church. 
as soon as i stepped into the building my eyes were open and i gave the pastor three prophecies three prophecies in the church are you with me three days after the prophecy the first one happened 0.5 million came into the church the overseer said call that man he's coming to preach on sunday ah, there is an ability oh, it can open doors when all else fail makata labada yes many things in life can fail don't trust them the real capital in your life is the anointing that one is fail proof certificate can fail internet can fail brother when all else fails reach out deep down god's ability god's ability is working in me it's working in me listen i went to the church i bought the suit with the money i can't remember how much dress look smart you will never know because I, I refused to i knew that my present was a thing i just had to manage with in my mind i was light years ahead of my present so i wasn't embarrassed by it because i knew my physical reality will necessarily necessarily become my mindset and my perspective when i went there on that sunday morning it was a sunday morning i was on my way to come and they sent me the message to preach they said i should preach about vow i said i fasted for three days for this opportunity and you are now sending me the message god had already given me a word listen the man with the church was a prophet he doesn't come out until after the service when you finish preaching he will now come out and do his thing when i stepped in and i looked at the people i had never seen a congregation of people who were that demonized and um there was you know we are used to we write our songs in zaria right so it's very difficult to sing these songs outside because we write our songs we receive them we compose them and i didn't know the kind of song to raise because uh, i wasn't used to all those songs our songs you can be humming for 30 minutes you don't do that there there was one song that i remember now is the time for the new anointing gird up your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken that was a song i raised my goodness that meeting that meeting was something else it was it was it was an amazing meeting you can imagine the things that god did after that meeting i had honorarium i ate in the house of the pastor they took me to another place you know how they are they are not like the not here that ignore your grace till you die <laughs> right there once they see grace they celebrate it immediately it's not in the notes that they'll just look and say can you help me no they know how to am i lying pastor come on now they celebrate grace very generously and so we went there and from that meeting they said two weeks after the church was going to have a convention and i was going to be their major speaker listen from that time it was one meeting after one meeting after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter and within six months my life had changed changed in a way i didn't even know where i was coming from again it had so changed the road had deleted behind me never to return there again that's why i never forget his ability when all else fail today i've stood before kings i've stood before politicians none of my certificates have brought me before these people but an ability of the spirit are you hearing what i'm saying so don't ignore it especially for some of you who are in school read your book but don't fool yourself the world we live in needs an ability of the spirit needs an ability of the spirit let's finish up mm. the primary channel for releasing god's ability is your words 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 where the word of a king is there is power ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered me when he spake unto me the spirit entered me when he spake unto me 
an impartation a dispensing of that anointing he said and it set me upon my feet listen there are people sitting now hearing me you will stand up from this meeting and it's like something will suddenly rise within you and you will say i know i may not be any other thing but i'm anointed i may not be any other thing Kabalakata. i was teaching the school of ministry students and i taught them no matter what society says you are not they may be right but they are wrong when they say you are not anointed they may be right they may say you are not fine it may be true they may say you are from a background where the map of your village was not added when they were you don't even use gps to find it they are right but if they ignore the anointing they are wrong the anointing will make nations follow you on their knees and it will be a privilege for them to receive of your grace you will be standing surprised while they are saying thank you God's ability is released through words. Number three, your hands. Listen, please look up. I know that many of us have ignored our hands. I want everybody to look at your hands if you can. These hands. It's working in you. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. He's working in you. Listen. These hands you see, brothers and sisters, a hand is a mystery in the realm of the spirit. A hand is not what holds people. That's why the Bible talks about the right hand of God. It talks about the hand of God. The hands are also doors in the spirit. They are channels for releasing the anointing. The work of a man is done through his hands. When you realize that there is an ability on your hands, it will bring upon your life creativity. It will bring upon your life innovations. You will do things through your hands you will never believe possible. These hands, these hands can open the gates of nations to you. These hands can bring kingdoms to their knees. These hands can swing the two leaf gates of your destiny open. God's ability, God's ability is working in me, is working in me. Brothers and sisters, you are getting blessed right now because I am speaking. You are not hearing English. Some of you, you don't even know what is happening to you as you are listening to me. You don't know whether you should sit down, whether you should stand up because there is an ability. My mouth is a window. It's a window revealing the realm of the spirit. It's a window communicating the secret place. Something is happening to your spirit as you are receiving. This is not a lecture. This is not a lecture. It's an ability. The power of the Holy Ghost. It's working in you. <laughs> He's working in you. It's God's ability. God's ability. It's working in you. It's working in you. And so as you speak, the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the portals in the spirit. And you begin to speak as you communicate those realities you are changing people they don't even know what is happening to them they just know that there is an activity it's not english it's not oratory it's called utterance 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 is by the ability of the spirit it's not a lecture you are changing men you are using words to bring them into an experience they cannot explain the ability of god walking in a man and so the spirit enters you the words come with fire the words come with illumination 
they do something to your spirit man it's like light some of you sometimes you don't even know what you are receiving you can't tell what is happening to you it's like hammer it's like fire you can't tell it's an ability it comes help that baby please it comes from heaven an ability of the spirit god's ability be sensitive I sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit already moving. We're going to pray. It's working in me. That's what I want you to become. So anointed. So full of his ability. The Bible says even God who quickened the dead and uses his mouth to call things. He uses his mouth to make things happen that would not have happened. The prophet said by this time he was not revealing. He was creating. It wouldn't have happened. His words created it. He's working in me. Listen. Many of us have been speaking. It's time for us to be communicators of light and power. It's time for us to be communicators of divine reality. I see the angels of the Lord pouring what looks like oil on people. This is what I see. It's like an anointing coming on people. Strong anointing of the Holy Ghost. God's ability. It's an ability. It's an ability of the Holy Ghost. That the opening of your mouth is a gate in the spirit. Working in me. Working in me. God's ability is God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Shake a God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Sing it with me, everybody. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. Shaba baba la kata baba la baba. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. Listen, the third way the ability of God is dispensed is through the instrument of your atmosphere. Listen, when you carry the ability of God, that ability creates like a spiritual electromagnetic field around you. Anybody that comes within that atmosphere possibilities just like many of you are under this atmosphere right now and then sicknesses will leave just by themselves without any prayer there is an ability of the spirit when Saul came into an atmosphere where there was a principality called Samuel the atmosphere affected him and the spirit of prophecy fell upon him when the ability of God is at work in you, your atmosphere has prophetic implications. Your atmosphere has prophetic implications. It's working in me. Yeah. Hallelujah. God's ability is released by faith you release the ability of God by faith let me explain to you what I mean the ability of the spirit listen is released on the strength of conviction your persuasion about who God is and what he has put in you sponsors your audacity to take action Action based on that consciousness is called faith. We've taught a lot of dogma about faith. Faith is nothing based 
on just human asset faith is the name given to the action you take based on your persuasion of who god is and then the bible says and the lord walking with them confirming the word listen the anointing of the spirit is the principal capital in your life please hear me action that is based on your conviction as action that is based on expectation by the ability of the spirit so your hands you expect that people will receive impartations this is how it works brothers and sisters there is an ability in you there is an ability in you you must know this there is an ability in you it's, it's not it's not about some gimmicks please this is not even about falling down it's called the mystery of godliness where god can dwell in a man so your body is like a puppet they are seeing you but there is another agency at work it's called the ability of god that's what will make you a wonder men will keep looking when they think they have exhausted you then you come from another dimension because you are connected to a supply that is eternal not bounded with time no fatigue is not bounded to the limitations of this system it's the ability of god the ability of god reproduce again and again and again and again it's not about trial and error you can gain mastery in the dispensing of his ability yes yes strongly belongs to those who are of full age who by reason of use they have gained mastery it's like fighting god's ability it's god's ability he's working in me that's why we can tell you to come for this meeting and we can guarantee that you will be blessed yes we can guarantee not on the strength of the flesh there is an ability no man's hardness can stand it no matter how stubborn you are it doesn't make any difference because when he shows up the bible says the voice of god upon the waters is mighty listen this is what happens in the teachings there are many people here who have come from other places and they cannot explain what happens to them when they listen to these teachings it's not so much about the revelation there is an ability in it that compels compliance it's called anakazo it's a greek word it's the compelling power of the spirit It is with that ability that we can prophesy over your life and your job and it will change listen it's not just saying change change receive all those things are garbages what is the ability that sponsors it for i am a man under authority he says and on the strength of that authority i tell one go and he will go i tell one come and he will come how can cancer die god's ability how can a jobless person get a job before Monday? God's ability. How can a, a, a life, I mean, come on, think about it, people. It's the ability of the spirit. It's not by might. It's not by power. There is an ability bigger than your effort, bigger than your strength. It's God's ability. Help them, please. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. There are three rewards when you can press to manifest the ability of God. There are three rewards. Reward number one is to become a desirable personality nations will desire you because you carry that which is needed they may criticize you but they will desire you there is too much darkness in this world for the careers of the anointing to be ignored 
Malakata barata bada 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 bada. It has nothing to do with ministry. That's the key to being an ambassador. The nations will look for you when you carry this capital called the anointing. It will open gates. You will become Bula. You will become Hefziba. The delight some land. You will become greatly desired when you carry this anointing. Listen. I have met men and women that no level of qualification in life would have given me access to them at this level. And I am amazed. I am amazed. I travel all the time. And I am humbled. People love me from regions to regions. It's not just that they love Joshua Selman. Many of them don't even know me. There is something when you carry it you become a joy of nations when you carry that anointing you become desirable the anointing will make up for your weaknesses it will make up big time listen listen years ago there was somebody who wanted to go to nda and there is a height there is a level to which if you are not as tall as that height they will not take you and the person who wanted to go there was lower than that height and when he went they dismissed him and he went and met the emir of zaria and the emir of zaria sent him with delegates that they should go and tell the commandant and the people that the emir has added his height did you hear what i said that the emir has added his height and they took him that's what the anointing does where you cannot enter Others are entering because they are intelligent. Others are entering because they have connection. When they come, they ask you, what do you have? And then you say, God's ability. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. God's ability. God's ability. It's working in me. It's working in me. Listen. They may, they can't ignore you for too long. It won't be too long, somebody will be confused. You will be needed immediately. It won't be too long, somebody will be sick. Demons are still on earth, which guarantees that you remain valuable. Listen, listen. For as long as there is a demand, for your anointing, you remain valuable. Business tells us until you have something you are unnecessary. The anointing keeps you valuable forever. Stocks can rise and fall. Oil can rise and fall. But the anointing has equal value in every territory. God's ability. Listen. When you carry Naira, when you carry Naira, as soon as you get to London with Naira, Naira is no longer valuable. Is that true? You have to change it to another currency. When you travel to Israel, you have to change the pounds or euro to shekels to be able to use it. When you travel to Asia, you now have to change it to yen and the rest to use it. But the anointing, the way it works in Nigeria, when you get to UK, there is no translation, there is no downgrading. Same sickness, same demons, same challenges. Listen, rich men fall sick. Rich men get confused. Politicians get confused. Have you seen certain businesses that are only for certain people? You only sell pampas for children. Abi, and an adult who is sick, an old man. A young man doesn't need pampas. Are you getting what I'm saying? You, you only bab somebody like me who always wants his hair low. If you want to shine it, let it shine. This is the way you do it. 
but somebody who keeps his head doesn't need it there are certain things in life that are only for a group of people the anointing is a master capital it is relevant anywhere everywhere and at all times you need it in business you need it in your academics you need it in marriage pursue me students you need it in your pursue me no 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 it's not just by the y the x there is an ability let me tell you early enough there is an ability of the spirit because you can write an exam well and somebody can be marking your exam and your script will fall down there is an anointing that guarantees it remains there are you hearing what i'm saying number one it brings you it makes you greatly desired number two the ability of god gives you favor with men ah. please listen to my message activating seasons of greatness favor with men and it does that in three dimensions it gives you access to people access to resources and access to opportunities these are the three things any man needs to succeed access to people access to resources access to opportunities the anointing brings access not everything is solved by money access is greater than money access 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 hallelujah it's god's ability listen we went benign we went benign recently for a meeting i say these things to encourage you after the meeting some people came in from asaba and they shared a very touching testimony and um, the pastors came in great ministry doing great things for god there when they came in they said this that they believe it to be an angel but they said somebody at a point where the ministry really needed the hand of god somebody just entered with one of our teachings and gave them and left never to see him again never knew him he was just somebody who came and dropped it and left and the pastor said when they listened to it they got all the information and as at the time they were talking to me they said they had over 200 of the messages and it has revolutionized the people there are people today who know me and love this ministry i have never seen them in fact 75 percent of those who get blessed by this ministry who have never set our eyes some of them is just one message is a mystery is a mystery if you think it's ordinary try it just go online and put anything i don't care what just put anything and invite people there is an angel there is an angel of the lord's presence that signifies the word of god and sends it like an envoy hallelujah during my during my birthday i think we had compliments from over 16 nations 16 nations of the world that have been blessed by the ministry i've not gone to most of them see that but then it's coming there are people who take these messages by themselves and keep spreading that's their ministry that is like a covenant they signed with god brothers and sisters tonight i want you to give up on your strength outside of god i'm reducing your journey towards destiny you will waste your time for nothing and find out after 70 years that this is not how it works but when the ability of god is upon you it will make you a sign and a wonder you will have unusual access access to things you will not pay for the anointing will pay for things for you unusual access hallelujah and finally the third reward for the ability of the spirit working in you is ever increasing honor honor let me tell you what honor is listen honor is not just recognition honor is the discernment of your uniqueness and the ability to reward it if you are not rewarded for your uniqueness it's not honor you can be recognized but when a man recognizes you and is willing to invest in you that is honor
to honor is to esteem you with respect and dignity and that you'll be rewarded for your blessings almost every day of my life there are people blessing me sowing seeds doing all kinds of things I sat down this morning and I was talking to the Lord I said Lord what are you doing to me this is more than I have bargained for as soon as we arrived this evening I just came in and when I came out I was almost sometimes you see me come and sit down and I just put my head down I'm fighting tears many times because I remain humbled at the hand of God the kind of workers that God has given in this ministry I think they, they are even it looks like they believe in the ministry more than me tomorrow is a leaders retreat and Sunday is the workers retreat committed people with their life like madmen you try to coordinate people like that and you see how easy it is of course they are trained of course there are principles but the force of cohesion is the ability of the spirit there is an anointing tonight listen I want everybody hearing the sound of my voice inside and outside you're going to make up your mind tonight and say Lord I'm tired of this inferiority and complex it may not have been your fault to have come from the background you came from but it can change I love my father he's a great man and I see most of the things that happened in my life with him as ignorance. But there was a time my father spoke to me and said, I was going to become a failure in this life. And his prayer is that I fail alone and not bring other people. About four years ago, my father got down on his knees and asked me to pray for him. The anointing of the spirit will make you a desire of nations. See, Forget about the meager criticisms you will receive. It's nothing compared to the honor. It's one is to one million. It is totally negligible. Believe me. This is what I know. This is what my hands have handled. And I came with this word tonight. The anointing of the spirit is an equalizer. It can cover for everything that went wrong. So you no longer have an excuse no matter what else fails when you are anointed you still remain valuable the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference we are going to pray and tonight I want us to pray because many of us are going to receive there will be a lot of impartations in this place tonight Especially for some of us who just came newly. Don't just come naively. Open up your heart. Let something fall on your life and change you forever. I have found my servant. Please give us Psalm 89. Verse 20. Psalm 89 verse 20. 89 verse 20 help us media it's his ability that's why my secret place listen my secret place remains my greatest asset not ministrations the man of god apostle johnson suleiman said something that blessed me one time listen he said he was in the secret place praying and building and planning and something happened a big man supposedly a politician big man he came and spoke to him and said he wanted to see him and uh, he was with God one hour he didn't come out two hours he didn't come out three hours he didn't come out and the wife was already getting embarrassed that how can you leave a big man like this and they went to knock and one of his daughters went to knock and then he opened the door and she was saying daddy why attend to this man let him go and he looked at her compassionately and he said my daughter see them he said do you know why this man is here he's here because of what i am doing the, he's not here because he likes me he's here because there is an anointing he needs he needs direction 
he needs a prophetic word if i stop doing what i'm doing he will not come back again let him wait that's why my secret place is the greatest song. you don't find me gallivanting around i'm like a herbalist you don't see me strolling around and then buying orange peeling it and just moving around no because you are gathered here tonight because you love god it is true but you have come to hear a man who you consider to be anointed and the only reason why you will keep coming and listening and the only reason why nations will keep coming is because of this ability the miracle service is by the corner there are sick people hiv cancer all kinds of oppressed people in this place right now there are families that have traveled kilometers to come and they are trusting god for a touch and so the greatest publicity of a believer men of god get this is the secret place that's the place you receive strength that's the place you receive innovation that is where you receive wisdom he says i have found david my servant and with my holy oil i smeared him with oil that activated an ability let's look at the next three verses 21 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side listen my prayer is that the least among us here will be as great as david but you know if you take it from the standpoint of intelligence there are people who are a thousand times more intelligent than you your advantage in the kingdom is the backing of the spirit please listen if you keep me side by side with brilliant people i may not have too much to say if you keep me side by side with intellectuals i may have something to say but maybe not much if you keep me around older people they have experience i may only have little to say if you keep me around people the world is full of cynical people even if i want to bless them they will not believe in me either because i'm not their tribe or because of certain parameters so my bailout is the anointing i got the anointing upon my life jealously i can lose everything but not his presence and the anointing that it brings he says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horns listen god can exalt the horn of a man god spoke to us that this is the season of the rain and the rain is already falling i tell you people's stories are changing god is taking people to newer levels of wealth newer levels of the anointing newer levels of the spirit inside and outside some of you are standing there are no seats standing by the fence listen you are face to face with destiny it's not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit if you've never believed in the ability of god in you i want you to believe it ephesians 3 20 and then we'll pray ephesians chapter 3 please verse 20 help us media verse 20 20 3 20 everyone read it together now unto him who is the him the almighty god who is able to do say god is able to do in me whatever he desires god is able to do in me god is able to do in me years ago when i saw these meetings i i i, I would say i didn't believe them but it was difficult to explain it see let me tell you something 
there are times a vision can be so great there's no point trying to share it because nobody can understand but only be consistent when you begin to birth wonders then the world will know he's a mighty god and i want you to believe him he can change anyone's story god can make you the song of many like david the song upon the mouth of women and children young and old we live in a very wicked world someone can look at you and vow and say over my dead body it will not be well with you ah, ah. they looked at jesus christ what did he do they sat down and held a meeting to kill him and jesus said if they have done it unto me they will do it to you hallelujah that means you must learn how to keep the devil where he belongs that's why he gave us power hallelujah psalm 66 verse 3 it says how all inspiring are your ways through the greatness of thy power not through making noise and wearing suit through the greatness of your power will your enemies submit themselves hallelujah many of us have been deceived this is a nice world don't trouble satan satan will not trouble you and you just say i'm not looking for anybody's trouble <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. the whole world lies in wickedness after struggling for five years to get a job you now get the job and somebody looks at you and says, i don't like you you didn't do anything wrong i just don't like you and as long as i'm in this office because for one position for promotion there are 10 or 5 people qualified everybody is going to their own babalao and you are there strolling believing because you are you have a christian name brothers and sisters please wake up as we approach the coming of christ the fierceness of evil becomes stronger and it is they that know their god daniel eleven thirty two. they that know their god they that not they that have heard about him they that know their god shall be strong you see all these people gathered here it would take god opening your eyes to see the satanic plots to stop people from coming for this meeting but it takes an authority oh this is the part about the kingdom i like i love the fact that our the kingdom we live in is not some kingdom full of fear and timidity it's a kingdom of power and authority hallelujah praise the lord i remember a woman came to me for counseling one time when she was about she got married newly you know and 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 that was quite some decades ago and she couldn't have a child so she went to a stream somewhere you know and all kinds of things were done for her and they told her make sure you have a daughter and before that daughter gets married make sure you return her and the woman said you may have been dead by that time he said see my son and he pointed one small boy who was just playing around he said by that time this boy will now be the priest return her so that something will be done hallelujah now the lady graduated and the women advised the mother and said madam we know you are a christian but this world we are living in just quietly go who will know just go and settle this thing and come back there are many people under all kinds of yokes we have been made to believe that once you are born again everything is over brothers and sisters it is true that in christ the old is supposed to have gone but satan will not just release you at a platter of gold it will take enforcing what christ has done for him to let you go hallelujah and pharaoh refused to let them go after nine plagues although god had given the command pharaoh refused to let them go hallelujah and then in the book of exodus he said one more plague will i bring upon pharaoh and upon egypt after that he will let you go one more plague hallelujah i'm glad to announce to you tonight the devil must give up on you finally there are many women suffering barrenness many people suffering all kinds of sicknesses there are many of us we are sitting here laughing but nothing is working in our homes it's not like you are not the day 
you just announce in the family that there is a project that's the day everything will scatter let god bless the family with small resources everybody gets sick until the money finishes then they will become fine by themselves i was diagnosed i've shared my story some of you were born in nice families they took care of you the devil never oppressed you that's why you have not understood the implication i was diagnosed of a fungal infection i had no account of just appeared this head you are seeing was literally rotting and they told me hair will never grow on my head again i know what evil the that's why i will live every day one of my life's mission is to give hell headache till i transit to celebrate with jesus christ mm. that my waking up every morning must be a nightmare to the kingdom of darkness hallelujah there was nothing this sponge this hard sponge you scrub the back of pot with they used it to scrub my head blood was coming out it was not out of wickedness it was out of frustration Oh, I know what wickedness looks like, brothers and sisters. Let me tell you. The students complained that I was irritating them in the dining hall. And so they stopped me. They banned me from going to the dining hall because I was irritating the students. When it's time for food, I will give somebody my plate and beg them to please help me and collect food. And I will stay alone. Ha! There is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain there was a season in my family people were dying like chickens look let me tell you something my grandfather for some of you who are around the north my grandfather they were the trustees and the founders of church of christ in nigeria i come from a, a lineage of missionaries but it did not solve the problem in my family are you getting my point all the first bonds I saw the I saw the pattern they became useless people either they got a lady pregnant out of wedlock or something happened that scattered their lives and reduced them into it I what my father's elder brother died at a particular age range my father's younger brother died at that same time just thank God that by the time my father was getting around that range we had gotten the revelation look let me tell you Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche said, this world is not a playground, it's a battlefield. If you don't adjust your mind fast, you will be in for a root shock. Are you getting what I'm saying? I remember some years ago, someone got married. Hallelujah. And we went for the wedding in Kaduna. I'll never forget this. Quite, quite some years ago. And when we went for the wedding, they had a step, they had a stepmother. True story. True story. There was a stepmother and we noticed that people were dancing and dropping gifts. Please listen. People were dropping all kinds of gifts. And when they had finished, you know, they were about to pack the gifts. We noticed that the guy's stepmother just came. A small gift that looked like a, a small bucket. You know, this bucket you put flour or sugar inside. And just wrapped it and dropped it. And when I looked at it, another brother too saw it. I said, Kai, because we were going to pray for the wedding gifts. And I insisted that we open this thing and see what is inside. When we opened it, what did we see? A white bucket. They just put a stone inside and closed it. God is my witness. Welcome to planet Earth where all kinds of people are permitted to live. Those who love God, those who hate God, and those who hate you. And if you don't do anything about it, they will take you to the grave. Hallelujah. Many families, let me tell you, are suffering this. Mysterious sicknesses and diseases that they cannot explain. Just comes upon a man and a family. There are some of us here. 
you just went to the hospital for test and they told you you have hiv you have left you you lived a pure life hallelujah something has happened in the realm of the spirit i remember somebody i think it was here he's on video that he slept quietly and in the night somebody appeared to him with a syringe and said this is hiv virus injected it into him and he woke up physically with hiv i'm not scaring you i'm letting you know that if you are not aware that this devil is not your friend are you getting what i'm saying somebody suffers in school you now finish school you go and serve you graduated with first class or two one five years down the line there's no decent job no decent job you want a job the manager is saying you know what to do and now you want to keep your christian integrity but you don't know how to command the forces of darkness to bow you now announce in your family that god is calling me to be a pastor from that day your whole life is tied into pieces everything you do does not work brothers and sisters i don't celebrate satan and evil but i'm letting you know there is evil in this world right now but there is power in the name of jesus there is power it's in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus it's to break every chain break every chain hallelujah i shared with us the testimony brothers and sisters if not that i saw this woman i would think it's a lie i've heard about it but i i was to i was to experience it for myself a woman who gave birth to a dead baby that came out half man half monkey half man half monkey with hair if not that i was sitting face to face with this woman if i had another man of god say it i may join those saying this is a lie some exaggeration just to make the message look powerful i've seen all kinds of evil but in the name that is above all names there is an authority that must command the forces to bow see this is what happens to people and you find out that one breakthrough will just open every area of your life are you seeing many of us are struggling you are trying to fight your health you are trying to fight this whereas there is a root problem if that problem is not dealt with you may be healed but it will appear as something else i hope you know that every believer is likened to a tree how do you make a tree healthy do you clean the leaves you add fertilizer at the root how do you destroy a tree you deal with the root the bible says the righteous is like a palm tree is that true this is the mystery of total breakthrough you must see every man like a tree you waste your time trying to remove the leaves at once when you address the problem it's like somebody who is complaining of headache but the real issue is typhoid fever you can take panadol again and again you will receive temporary relief but tonight some things will be totally settled in the name of jesus christ you will find out one area of your life and then marriage opens up then job opens up then your academic opens up and that's when you say goodness so this is it a dear lady of us even while i was in abuja last week I, I met with her this lady had worked for four years very hard working lady she was here i remember that time it's on video also one fair lady that came from abuja and i prayed for her this lady for four years she had been working no promotion no benefits no nothing every area of her life was grounded i prayed for this lady and she went back to abuja and her boss looked at her he said come you've been working in this place what has been done for you right now this lady follows the boss and travels with him everywhere when her friends heard about it they say it's because you are fine she says have i not been here four years with the same pretty face nothing changes by itself till you force it to change it will change one day is a dream if you force it it will change are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us you are standing outside students you are you are suffering 
things are not working people think you are dull but you are not dull you enter the exam hall you blank out and then you will do tutorials and be helping others when they are marking scripts your script gets missing the wickedness the bible says while men slept an enemy came and planted tears in the wheat and ran away there are all kinds of people lumps fibroids barrenness cysts all kinds of nonsense all around until you know the might of god you will keep getting afraid of satan but when you know who god is you will know once and for all that this devil he was created and that he can submit to the authority of his creator who am i speaking to tonight is your season for real change you can see you can sit down and watch others there are many of our sisters here as you're sitting down right now it's not like you are not pretty it's not like you are not virtuous you have done everything you have read every book you've knelt down for every man to greet them but no marriage something is wrong it even becomes a terrible situation when it's the man that doesn't have a wife to marry and this is it's easy to understand for the ladies because they position themselves to be found what of the man hallelujah but the lord prepared this apostolic and prophetic platform to end these assaults of darkness in our lives listen many of us are the only saviors of our parents right now and our families you know we believe in family in this place right your salvation is not complete until the members he said as for me and my house hallelujah every one of us standing here came from a family and let me tell you no matter how blessed you are if your family is not changed for many years my father was grounded at his place of work his juniors were being promoted everything was working for others except him this man was almost dying of high blood pressure and one day i got angry and we had to settle the issue tonight god will settle some family so please take what i'm saying seriously i'm speaking like this because shortly we are going to pray hallelujah there are some of you anytime somebody wants to bless you something will happen to that person and just scatter him somebody says i want to bless your family everything becomes grounded there are some of us who are in ministry you have done everything you know groundbreaking prophetic match round everything nothing is growing but jesus christ brought us here tonight so that we can experience his victory hallelujah and in a few minutes we have to pray before i begin to minister brothers and sisters i want you to pray and say father visit me i didn't just come to watch others and clap hallelujah the power of god is present to heal no matter what the sickness is no matter what the sickness is believe is it cancer is it hiv is it fibroid is it genotype issue no matter what it is you are stranded in whatever area of your life please position yourself because god is about to do mighty things right now no matter how far you are inside or outside talk to the lord don't be joking this is about your destiny this is your chance for exchange of story say lord i'm tired I'm tired of clapping for others. Lord, visit me. I want to make progress in my life. But there are forces that tie me down. Lord, it's the season where you will increase my greatness. I'm tired of this terminal disease. Tired of this cancer. They've told me I have days to live. I'm tired of walking on a wheelchair. I'm tired of this blindness tired of this deafness tired of this sickle cell anemia jesus you do
died and already paid the price you paid the price already oh yes jesus paid the price with his blood he paid the price already it was paid in full he paid the price for that cancer to live he paid the price for that hiv to dry up he paid the price for that barren womb to be fruitful he paid the price he paid the price go ahead and pray and say jesus you have paid the price jesus you have paid the price for the deliverance of my family we are tired of this hardship it's not your will for us to continue in this hardship and lord like jacob we hold on to you tonight we will not let you go till you change our story come on pray koinonia we will not let you go those outside are you praying lord change my story academically i'm tired of writing jam again and again and again and again and again change my story change my story you already paid the price you already paid the price oh hallelujah he has paid the price hallelujah he paid it with the blood of jesus the blood of jesus is the price the price the devil must let you go the blood has been shed already jesus said it is finished that cancer is finished hiv is finished the devil may not want to let you go but you will enforce the word the bible says how forcible are right words how forcible are right words how forcible rise up on your feet everybody and begin to blast in tongues and say my time has come my time has come oh god my time has come tonight you will visit me as your blessing man let your eyes see me oh god as your changing stories visit me visit me visit me visit me visit me oh god that epilepsy must die tonight that yoke of financial hardship hallelujah hallelujah i believe hallelujah hallelujah the power of god is in this place i believe lord i believe listen 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 let me tell you something hallelujah the man who laid down at bethesda he'd been like that for 38 years there is a way a situation has been so long in your life even when they are telling you god will change it you say lord change the rest tonight do not leave any stone unturned are you getting my point whatever it is you're trusting god for many of us left different states many of us left different local governments i like you to pray and say lord for this and that and that area of my life he must give way to yes lord it must give way tonight it must give way. The power of God is already moving across this place. Goodness. Hold on.
Alléluia. Alléluia. Listen. Powers that hold your hands and tie your destiny must let you go. Hallelujah. I see miracle everywhere. Miracle everywhere. I see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Miracles. We see miracles. Lord, we see miracles. Right now. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Listen, listen, listen to me. I tell you there is a strong spirit of faith in this place. Listen, listen, please listen to me first. Many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now. Hallelujah. God is going to the root of people's issues. It's not just sickness or this. Please believe me. The, the Lord kept telling me this again and again. The root, the root of the issue. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm about to pray right now. I'm about to pray inside and outside. There will be such a release of the forcible power. You can't stand it. No. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of your son, there are forces of darkness that are responsible for the tears of many people and families. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, as we shout that name, let there be such a move, my God. My God, lift your hands. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name, devils will leave right now. One, two, three. The power of God right now. I command forces, forces of darkness, yokes, yokes of darkness, yokes, bring them out. The fire of God is falling. I challenge altars. Outside, the power of God is Lift your hands. The devil must let you go tonight. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I see a number of people inside and outside. And I see chains all over you. Chains. As you shout this name. It's already happening to people right now. As I speak. As I shout that name Jesus. When you shout it. Many of you will hear sounds. Of physical chains dropping. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One. Two. Three. Jesus. Jesus. I give the chains 
Those outside, lift your hand. Those those outside. Those outside, lift your hand. Hallelujah. I see the angels of the Lord moving outside. Lift your hands. Those outside, you're going to shout Jesus. There will be such a move of fire, physical fire outside. Are you ready now? Those outside. One, two, three. Go, 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 hallelujah lift your hands the spirit of delay 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 the lord is talking to me now hallelujah the power of god will fall on certain people straight up god is killing the spirit of delay and i see this row the angel of the lord is standing upon this road right now in the name of jesus the spirit of delay across this road go 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 Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Gabriel, 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 please let's save time. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. This is serious witchcraft. Gabriel, outside, that guy is outside. You are wearing something like green, greenish, like flowery something green. Where is that? You, do you know me? Come and stand here. Your, your, your time your time has come please stand up stand up let's save time I give the chains the chains falling she see take a papa tapa tapa then great tapa 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 Release our family now. Release our family now. I the chains. Hallelujah. Look at me. My brother, I need to pray for you. There's nothing working in your life. Is that true? Look at me. Absolutely nothing. People just see you and see you dressing well. There is not financial. Nothing is working. Look at me. You are a sincere person. Are you getting my point? You have cried. You have cried. There's nothing you have not done. But tonight, God wants to change your story. Bring that lady. Because I see her going through the same thing this guy is going through. Bring her. Let her go now and forever. In Jesus' name. Go! Break every chain, break every chain. My 
my brother, in the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy to you, look at me. Things will so change and turn around in your life, you will be surprised. You believe this? Father, let it be done in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing military uniform. Who is a soldier? Who is a soldier around you? I'm seeing his. I live in the barracks. You live in a barrack because I'm seeing military uniform. Hallelujah. God is going to help you. Huh? You need the help of God. You have gotten to a point where you have done the best by yourself. It will take God to help you. Hallelujah. Victoria. 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 The Lord is showing me a name, Victoria. We may not call everybody Victoria. Victoria. Ah. Well, I believe when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. Where's the person I was talking to? He has gone. I've not finished, my brother. Hallelujah. Come. We're going to break the course. This, this is, I'm saying this is, this is a yoke of darkness. Please hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, we break this evil right now. <sighs> Madam, I'm looking at you, but I'm seeing a man. I'm not seeing a woman. I'm looking at you, I'm seeing a man. The power of God is going to come upon a lady now. There will be a loud shout. Let me have that lady here. It's going to happen right now. There is a strong force of the spirit. It will, it will be so strong upon the person. Please, when that happens... Break every chain. Break every chain. Look at me. I'm going to pray for you. Please, I want you to believe Hallelujah. Come, sister. Just those who came out, don't take them back. Just, just leave them. Hold my hands. Out of her. Go. Go in the name of Jesus Christ. Devil of darkness. Father, I pray for all of the people. My brother, I didn't pray for you. That was why. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Change his story. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll just lay hands on you people. I don't know what the issue is. But as I lay hands, I'm seeing a man. Huh? I want to pray for you. Please. Because this thing has tied your life down. Lord, let her be free. Jesus. Let her be free in the name of Jesus. Please, if I pray for you, just go back. Change their story so God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you brought them out, change their stories. As I lay my hands on you, I want you to know that everything is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A drama will be acted in this place shortly now. Look up. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to release marriages. This is it. It will start answering from this lady. It will start moving across right now. The power of God will start touching people. I'm about to pray. I've not prayed yet. It will start touching ladies, especially ladies. In a strange way, God is releasing marriages supernaturally. Supernaturally. This way, just like this. Just like this down. That's how I see the power of God moving. Lift your hands. Oh, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we to every cause of marital delay. Leave God people now. 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 Every cause. Bring them out. Bring them out. Every spirit stopping marriages by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit stopping marriages. Come, 
Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Bible says male and female, he created them. Not male and male. Not female and female. Lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. If there is any family here that their marital destiny has been tied down as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives right now may the fire of the Holy Ghost move and cause deliverance right now every spirit husband every spirit wife every devil every demon go go by the fire of the Holy Ghost every act of witchcraft that has tied family we release you right now Hallelujah. Goodness. God is setting families free. Oh, the devil must give up on you tonight. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That girl on red, tying red scarf, there is an angel pouring oil on her right now. Right now, I curse that spirit. Go, go, out of her right now. In the name of Jesus. That's right, that's the lady. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming upon her right now. Go, go, go. Release her right now. Release her right now. Release her right now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to know you mustn't manifest and do all these things. God is just setting people free. Are you getting my point? I like us to just flow with what God is doing right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a lady. I'm seeing a lady. You had a dream and a dog pursued you and beat you. Please, who is that person? I, I like us to save time, please. I may not talk to everybody, but we still have a lot of things to do. Please, hurry up. Who is that person? Well, if it's if you are thinking about it, just remain on your seat, please. This is not guesswork. This is what the Holy Spirit, because we have to pray for the sick. You're going to be free right now. You're going to be free right now. I give the chains. The chains for you. Please hold my hand. It ends right now, oh Lord. It ends. Release her right now. Release her right now. That power of darkness. Let her go. In Jesus' name. Please come, let me pray for you. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. I break that demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus. That demonic thing over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We break that demonic thing over your life in the name of Jesus look at me your 
your family it's not even you now you are a worker in this house and as a worker you are entitled to certain blessings huh? your family there is a cause of hardship upon your family your entire family hold my hands you must be free right now let her go representing her family in the name of Jesus I plead the blood what is this that I see in the spirit you must let her go because she's a faithful worker in this house in the name of Jesus out of her in the name of Jesus Christ I release your family I release your family I release your family in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me the vision of a tree and I'm seeing it tied with ropes tied with ropes this is what I'm seeing in the spirit is tied and this is like the destiny of this family and they've done everything to tie it but i release it right now i release it by the spirit in the name of the lord jesus and i prophesy on everybody whatever the devil has tied take the destiny of any family that has been tied be released now 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 every destiny that has been tied by witchcraft go be released now hallelujah 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 I tell you the breakthroughs that are happening many of you will leave this place you will be surprised just believe me there is somebody outside two people in fact the fire of God will rush upon them right now in a mighty and strange way they will never be able to contain it outside when that happens let me have those people if two people in a powerful way is happening right now by the spirit you can't stand it you will just be standing and it will come on you in a wild way like fire like wild fire it will come upon you please let me have the ladies like wild fire it will turn you you will be running it will happen to you you will be running around you will be running around. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, to break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Who is Salome? There is a wild spirit in this lady's family. This lady you are seeing. Let her go now. This is Benway State. In the name of Jesus, release this family now. Release this family now. Hallelujah. Salome. The meaning of your name in your language is like treasure treasure or something precious who is that like treasure or don't tell lies here oh please you are the one what is what's your name no no salome just wait here you are the one salome the the meaning of your name i'm going to pray for you salome where's your mother She's at home where? 
we need to pray God wants to give your family breakthrough out of her now out of her out out right now out out of her out bring them Si para tapare que te prague de boxa ni paso paria tapare dos te que para cata y prato se palia na bako se que te prageria preteste para tapako se que te leva Si para bako I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost Now be free Now be free Now be free Out! Out! Be free in the name of the Lord Jesus. May you become that treasure truly. Let your days of crying come to an end in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up. I want us to pray. I'm seeing a lecturer that is going to die next week. If we don't pray, he's going to die. Hallelujah. I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. God just interrupted this. Please stand up. In one minute, I'd like us to pray before we continue. And say we refuse death. I'm seeing a professor dying next week. Lord, we plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood of God. We plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for the sick right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those of you who came with people who are sick, it's time to minister to them right now. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. I know that there are a lot of people and we want to do it very, very fast. I'm sorry we don't take too much time to announce instant miracles now. You know, we are bounded by time. If we're doing an afternoon program, we can take so many things. Hallelujah. So I want, it's not like we're not celebrating what God is doing. It, it would have been easy now to just ask these people to testify, to encourage us. But we don't have all of that time now. There are so many people. There are people after this meeting now may return to certain places. Hallelujah. Please and please. Please and please. We don't fake miracles in this place. We don't, we believe in the power of God. I know that many people have come trusting God for healing. And I know that some of us have come with our loved ones. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, I want us to be orderly in this place. No fighting, no nothing. By the grace of God, we are going to minister to everybody one by one. Hallelujah. Praise God. So please and please, I want you to cooperate with us. Hallelujah. The worship team will lead us in a powerful worship song while we allow those who are sick you came with someone sick or you are sick now is your time to walk up to the front come and stand and trust jesus for a miracle and make sure you are writing your prayer request if you don't have any prayer request hallelujah please if it's someone that cannot stand maybe if there's a way protocol can help the people and then maybe we can have a chair or something whatever it is Jesus Christ. Those of you standing, lift your hands and begin to thank God for the miracles of people. Please pray. 
Please pray. His presence is here to him. Oh, hallelujah. We give you praise. Those of you coming out, please begin to pray and say, Lord, my time has come. I know you have all kinds of medical reports. Forget about them right now. HIV cases, cancer cases, whatever it is, genotype. Don't worry. Jesus is Lord in this place. Lord, we thank you. His presence. Please let's save time. If you've not written your prayer request, start writing it. His presence is His presence is here to heal. let your faith rise lord my time has come i'm not going back the same from headache to infection no matter how little oh hallelujah jehovah rapha there is a god that heals in the house so he one more time. One more time. Jesus heals. Jesus heals. You will be delivered. I don't care what the situation is. Son of man, can these bones live again? Hallelujah. I want you to know, whatever the situation is, there is a God. We are not against doctors. We have doctors here as workers. But let me tell you, it gets to a point in your life where you have done your best. When you have done your best, leave it all to Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to believe in the power of the Holy Spirit as I minister to you right now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The anointing of the Spirit is strong and I see the angels of the Lord here. Many of you, what you call sickness is not sickness, it's witchcraft. Huh? You will be delivered from it and that will be the end of it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It's, when he's ready, he can come and join me. Jake is deeply in the spirit, so just let him. When he's ready, Jesus, I give you all the praise. Those of us who are there, please don't be carried away. Make sure you participate. And let's trust the miracle working power. Especially those of you who God is calling you into a healing ministry. Now is the time to look. Now is the time to concentrate so that you will receive something. We give you all the praise. yourself God is healing people come and see in the presence of Lord be healed hold on be please healed. hold on hallelujah daddy don't cry what's wrong with you sir I, I'm suffering from arthritis since 30 years 30 years brothers and sisters 30 years arthritis Uh, and it is a sign of stroke. It gives me a sign of stroke. 
is your father is your father come what did they tell him in the hospital sir he's having arthritis he's having deep. it's not just arthritis i'm seeing pile i'm seeing pile i'm seeing pile this is witchcraft do you have pile yeah i'm if i want to if i want to uh is yourself easy myself the team will be strong that's what i'm saying is pile this is pile it's not just arthritis alone this is pile this is this is an evil thing is that pile. yes sir, exactly. having pile you are having pile yes sir. yes sir you too you are having pile now see this is a cause to destroy everybody in your family it's not just your father this thing has been there since since are you getting my point you are not the only one you have suffered with this pile even you it has embarrassed you it's just something you cannot tell people because i'm seeing that if they don't help you will start bending it will start like your leg will start paining you the same thing that is happening to your father will happen to you you've done for me what no man can do Jehovah Bela Jehovah Jehovah you done, done for me, me. What no one else will do Say you may love Jehovah Daddy There is a name that is greater than any ancestry you will be the first to be healed come hold my hand pile go now you are a devil of darkness i curse you out from her life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus daddy I bring you the life of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming upon you. Stroke. I curse that spirit. I curse that spirit. Strength to you. I curse that spirit. Look at this. In the name of the Lord Jesus, come. Stand up. Come by yourself. Come. Come. Just come. 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 Walk. Come. at this 30 years stroke 30 years stroke 30 years stroke come on now look at look at look at look at what is happening to me 30 years stroke come on give jesus praise 30 years stroke look at look at look at this man come on son hey, hey. look at look at this Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. Hallelujah. Ah. Come on now, hold on, hold on. How many of you saw this man when he was coming? Are you seeing this now? Look at our daddy. Daddy, are you surprised? I'm surprised. What is happening to you, right? There is no penny. Completely. Hey. Look at, look at this. Come on, give Jesus praise. 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 The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows. Dance to the shame of the devil. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. The spirit of God is upon me. Even the devil knows that I am a winner. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, there are people who believe that these things are stage managed. Hallelujah. How can you stage manage a miracle with an elderly man like this? Eh? 
from Niger State. This is his first time coming all the way from Niger State. 30 years arthritis. Hallelujah. I prophesy to your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen in the name that is above all names I prophesy just leave him leave him he's just sitting down he's, he's so excited he doesn't know what to do with himself I cannot stand up by myself like that before alright sit down and try it again sit down and try it again you know he couldn't stand up but help him help him sit down try to stand up now look at this Help him. oh hallelujah it never returns again in the name of Jesus whoever is responsible for any evil he will reap what he has sown be blessed in the name of Jesus give Jesus praise let's hurry up when God. Jesus say yes nobody can say no when Jesus say nobody can say no when Jesus say yes nobody can say no hey when Jesus say yes nobody can say no when Jesus say yes Nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Please, if you are with a little child, can you guide them so that we know what is wrong with them? Let's save time. There are a number of people. Hallelujah. and a wicked person madam look at me this woman is going through a very serious situation but let me tell you it will change i don't care what has been removed one has been removed they removed don't cry it's okay it's okay what exactly did the doctor say they didn't say anything that you can no longer conceive why one has been removed and the other one is not healthy. One has been removed. The other one is not healthy. Ah, son of man, can this bones be begun? Hallelujah. I wish this woman was here who had been burying that carried her child. I don't know if she's here. This fair lady, she's not here. I wish she were here, she would have brought the child and let's see that medical reports can be cancelled. She's not here. Habiba's sister, Sadia's sister, she's not here. That is she around? Come, come, come with the child. Where is she? Come with the child to the shame of the devil. That's a woman they say will never take in. Come with your child. That's a miracle baby there. Come. Please come, madam. Sorry, don't be embarrassed. Clear the way for her. I want to encourage you. Come. Please, kind God, oh, I never see in kind, oh, this kind God, oh, bless the be Hallelujah. Name. Hold on. This, this is a woman that nothing would have been able to happen. Nothing completely. But look at the fine boy. See, look, let me tell you. There is nothing that ends argument like results. You can fake a headache, can you fake a child? Hallelujah. Madam, let me tell you the truth. You will not only carry a child, you will carry plenty of people. Please believe. I, I, I brought her out to show you when they gave birth to this baby this baby was looking like an angel they were snapping the baby right 
Hallelujah. Father, every woman in this place, every family, trusting God for a miracle child, in the name that is above all names, you did it for this family, do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again, oh God. Hallelujah. Madam, you will be free right now. Look at me. I don't care whether one womb has been removed or whether another one is not working. It's irrelevant. All I know is you will have children and they will grow in wombs. Where it will come, that is not my responsibility. Are you getting my point now? The child is saying amen. Something will leave you now. This is this is demonic. Let this woman go now. I command that you get pregnant, give birth to miracle children. We create new wombs right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is done. You will return with your miracle children. I'll attend to everybody now will be very very fast so that we can save time worship team please my god is awesome he can move my hold on let her talk ya ro na le ya je israel le ya je israel zin she she na aiki the nigeria christian programs commission Abuja. So say so that if you ya leading ya in South South, say ya a dog without who do some just some duplication. So that children she they go fourth floor. So yet the shark is a so that Karaba could be a wager she. Twenty December fourteen. You know Pama Israel. She ne asa na che. Am I naik enzu? Hari enzu? Am I enzu? No go chinde ya fadi. Anche baza ye bunga na ba. Zai yuru butuba, zai yite fiaba. Ogasi ya chetu, achiga ba de truti ndishi. Yai adua Allah ya gya mchi. Zai yite fia, zai yima gana, zai yuru butu. Suna yeso, yenzunge na rubutu, yena magana, ama kofa di le, bifara te fiaba. Father, in the name of your son Jesus Christ, all the way from Nigeria by the power of the Holy Ghost, Kabala toza tabaranda kalibata zide lembrash ko brande kalabati la kapras te brandi satabala mande ke bres ke latos ko bari dalaba. In the name of Jesus, what's his name? Bege poche chet. Bege bege we call you now. Those I don't care whether they are broken, whatever is wrong with it. Receive life now. Receive life now. We command you to stand up from that dead bed. Stand up from that dead bed now. Your hands will write, your eyes will see, your feet will walk. Every broken bone, we mend it now. Thank you, Jesus. Mama, you will return with a testimony in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for you. Now get you on buyer. Hold on. Buying can make his office sometimes go. Your back. Come on, get the kafa. Hey, hey. Add the kafa. They call it Senyin Kashiabi. In Aosa. That's what? Rheumatism. I'm going to pray for you. We'll pray. We'll soon get interpreters. Hausa, Baju, anyone. English, I hear Baju. Everyone. What's that, your song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what? That's Baggy. Ah, hold on. Come on. Sam. But can you when you walk in Kadunaba? Hold on now. Yen Kadunaba, can you walk in Garinkuba? You don't know what they 
and say, just be just be Hallelujah. Mommy, be healed of rheumatism now. In the name of Jesus, I cause that pain right now in your legs. Be healed. Stand up. Come. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, strength to your leg. I cause it. Pain, go. Walk, man. Walk. 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 Look at this. Walk. Look at this. Any any improvement on your leg? Look at, look at. Rheumatism. Couldn't walk well on one leg. In the name of Jesus Christ, it becomes permanent. Completely permanent. In Jesus' name. And your son is healed and he will return. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. We have to hurry up. Sam, sing something else, please. My God is awesome. He can move mountain. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broke. Strength where
Usher, start collecting the prayer requests very quickly. Start collecting the prayer requests very quickly.
Make sure, you, don't worry, you won't fall. Daddy, they are standing at your back. Try to turn and walk. Look at this. I could not use this knee before because of arthritis for six weeks. Very painful. But look at I've been able to move it, the pain my is gone. <laughs> Gone. The pain is gone. Don't worry, Daddy. Don't look at the pain. Just look at me. Just look at me. Walk. Follow me. Forget about the leg. Just look at me. Just look at me. Don't take your eyes away from me. I curse evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Try to lift the leg. Try to lift it now. Don't worry. You won't fall. Lift it. Lift it. Look at. Lift it. Lift it, Daddy. Lift it. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Up. Down, up, down. Try walking, sir. Father, you have begun this. It, it is perfected. Me, I curse the spirit that sponsors evil. Because this is witchcraft. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And by the mercy of the Son of the living God. I command this spell from the crown of your head, daddy to the sole of your feet be healed i command the knee the ankles in the name of jesus christ be made whole in jesus name you will not fall they are supporting you please don't be afraid just follow me come don't be afraid don't be afraid just look at me look at me look at me sir look at me now come Come, just come, just come, 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 look at this, come on now, Koinonia celebrate Jesus, he's walking by himself, don't worry, you will not fall, they are supporting you, just come, just come, leave them that you walk by yourself, come, come, thank you Jesus, come, come on Koinonia, he's walking by himself, Exercising the leg. Yeah. 
chain is breaking, breaking. breaking. whatever it is, wherever it is, it's breaking, yeah. it's breaking, it's breaking, it's breaking, and it's falling, it's falling, it's bowing, bowing. Hallelujah. I know we're out of time. Please turn the prayer request. If you've not written your prayer request, those online, they should connect with us. We want to pray right now. Hallelujah. God is setting people free. Please don't miss the prophecy after this because it's very, very important. Hallelujah. God is going to be... If you've not submitted your prayer request, please do that. Just wave your hands and the ushers will come to you quickly. Please, one minute, one minute. One minute. Let's do this quickly. All those connecting with us, um, through the internet they can just connect by faith hallelujah pastor jakes will lead us to this session praise the lord if you can rise please rise this is a very prophetic moment look at me hold on we're not just doing this foolishly this is an instruction god gave us hallelujah we've had unspeakable testimonies i believe almost everybody this is summary of your prayer request we may not have time to deal with it. This, please, don't make it ritualistic. Hallelujah. The Bible says Hezekiah took the threat letter and took it to the temple and he dropped it before God. Stretch your hands and begin to pray as Pastor Jakes leads us through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want, I want you to pray. We're going to be laying our hands on this request right now. And I'm telling you, God is going to be releasing miracles. You're standing, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, this is it. Everything I've written here lives my life. Everything that needs to come into my life, please pray. Participate in the meeting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead, Queen Tongues. Rata <laughs> Lord, your grace, 
I see the angels of God come like flash of light real fast bringing answers to prayers for some of us we will receive calls even tonight answers 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 to prayers ah just like Ezekiah opened us his prayers before the Lord and right before the prophet left the temple answers came the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the answers come tonight in the name of Jesus the Lord brings healing aha thank you blessed Lord Bacos y perioto, shimile gambron, siki parodo, sile branda, carabadose. There's a particular case of consistent pain on your ankle, the right ankle. That person wrote it as a prayer request. The Lord is healing that in the name of Jesus. Father, we lay these prayer points before you. The God of all flesh, the God of all spirits, our Father, God, you are greater than our challenges. You are bigger than every problem we have. We ask you, blessed Father, let the seal of your spirit be upon these prayers in the name of Jesus. Let the seal of Jesus, the power of his blood, speak in the name of Jesus. We cause doors to open in the blessed name of Jesus. We command breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Let answers come speedily by your spirit in the name of Jesus. For every heart cry, every pain, the Lord wipes away tears in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise for every prayer point here, Lord, is sealed in the name of Jesus. It is answered in the name of Jesus. We give you the praise, we give you the glory, for we pray in the blessed name of Jesus. And we decree, we declare that we are blessed and our answers have come. In the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. This is, this is a very serious moment right now. A few minutes and we'll be out of here. But this is very prophetic. For me, I consider this to be the greatest part of the meeting. Where we get to use the power of prophecy to change people's situation. Because of our time, please, there are people here. You've not given your life to Jesus. You've seen the works of the kingdom. And tonight, you're saying, Jesus... I want to make it right with you. Wherever you are, please, as I pray, I want you to march forward. You'll be the first I'm going to be praying for. There are people here right now, others, you've given your life to Christ, but you've not found yourself living the way of the kingdom. And you're saying, Lord, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Don't be ashamed. Don't wait for everybody. Everyone has joined the kingdom. You are the only one left. I'd like you to find your way courageously to the front right now. Celebrate them. God bless you as you come. People are coming. God bless you. Don't be afraid. God bless you. I know there are many people outside. There are many people inside. Don't wait for anyone. This is a decision. This is your salvation. This is very important. Forget about your friend. Forget about who you came with. Quickly, quickly. Please save time. We'll just count one, two, three. One. Those outside, double up. Don't be ashamed. You don't feel ashamed when a gift is being given unto you. Please find your way around to Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed. This is a decision to begin to walk with God. Don't be emotional about it. This is a sincere decision. It can decide your eternity after now. Don't sit back. There are people still sitting back. The Holy Ghost is telling you to get up and come. The Bible says if you hear his voice in that day, harden not your heart. God bless you. God bless you. There are more people coming from outside. Please celebrate them very quickly. Find your way to the front. hallelujah thank you so much for coming this is the greatest decision in this place lift your hands those of you those joining them please join them quickly young and old everyone join them it's never too late for you to join them god bless you our sister thank you thank you so much thank you so much we don't have all the time but please make your way very quickly if you have to come it's never too late lift your hands those of you hallelujah
People are used to making very emotional decisions when they respond to the altar call. But please, we mean business. This is very, very serious. God bless you, our sister. Just join us very quickly. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe you died for me. I believe you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I make you my Lord and Savior. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. From today, I declare that I begin to make progress in my life. I submit to the authority of Jesus. I denounce sin and Satan. From today, I move forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus. Keep the hands lifted up. Father, thank you. These hands are lifted unto you. They will never be put down in the name of Jesus. Let their salvation experience be genuine and let it last. Thank you for this decision they are making today. The powers of darkness that take them back into sin and the way of death, we command that they are set free from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Do wonders in their lives. Make mighty men and women out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. We celebrate you. We love you. We honor you. Thank you for making this great decision. Now, I'd like you to follow the ushers, the people with blue and black. Hallelujah. Follow the gentleman. This side, just follow them. They will have your details and then we'll communicate to you. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you so much. Everybody lift your hands. Please rise. Rise as we pray. Praise the Lord. By the way, let me celebrate Pastor Pete Rock's wife. She's, she's been hiding. Hallelujah. If you want them to celebrate your husband tomorrow, clap. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I'd like you to shout amen as we pray. He said, son of man, can these bones live again? He said, only thou knowest. And he said, prophesy. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the part where everybody gets to participate because the word is living like rain and it can alter your destiny. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Right now in the name that is above all names, I pray. Every door that has been closed over anyone's life. Kapoto paretata. Every door that is closed over anyone's life be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Every closed door over your destiny. Be open now. Every terminal disease in your body, I command that it comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. It comes to an end now. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Esther found favor before the king. And the king said, what shall I do to you? Even up to half of my kingdom. I pray in the name that is above all names. May an anointing for favor. A real anointing with proofs. May it come upon your life now. Receive favor now. Favor with God. Favor with man. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. And the king, whoever needs to send for you, who, whichever destiny helper needs to connect you with the next level of your life, I call them into your life now. I call them into your life now. In the name of the son of the living God. Destiny help us share the word of the Lord. I command divine connections in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, And thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about. 
let me tell you the truth the lord has not called you to a life of weakness and mediocrity therefore i prophesy that anointing for breaking limits i prophesy it upon your life move to the next level academically move to the next level in the name of jesus christ listen listen there's no such thing as joblessness huh the bible says the vine dress are past and saw them idle he said why sittest thou idle he said no man employ us and he told them go to the vine there is always work when god speaks he saw them idle. he said why sittest without there are many people here trusting god for jobs right now in the name that is above all names between now and next miracle service receive your miracle job i prophesy it i release it for you and for your family members receive it now receive it now receive it now there are people who are overdue for promotion in their workplace the bible says listen the bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west nor the south god can take a man from a dunk hill and place him above even if you are not working you can stand for your loved ones man i pray as surely as the god of heaven lives whoever is due for promotion and has been hindered we release it now we release it now we release it now we release it now hallelujah and elijah told his servant he said check and he came back he said there is nothing he said go and check again and he said i saw a cloud like the feast of a man i pray in the name that is above all names let there be the sound of abundance i provoke abundance right now i provoke abundance in the name of jesus the bible says the hand of zerubbabel that started this work that same hand shall complete it whatever you and your family members have started i don't care what the project is whatever resource is required receive the finisher's anointing receive the finisher's anointing in the name of the lord jesus christ everyone trusting god for a godly relationship and marriage my bible tells me male and female he created them he didn't say male and male he says seek out of the book and read none of these words shall fail none shall want a mate i declare right now that any spell of darkness that has tied you maritally as surely as the god of heaven lives right now i release you i command your exodus now i command your exodus right now for those trusting god for resources you want to marry but you are tied down financially and the lord told elijah go to the brook cherith there a raven will come and feed you we provoke the mystery of divine supply he said you shall not see the wind you shall not see rain but the valley shall be filled with water i command supply right now by the favor of the lord god of israel let there be supplies hallelujah i pray for you the bible says you will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed even in the country he said whatsoever you lay your hands to do is blessed lift up those hands in the name of jesus from today whatever you do with these hands may they be blessed may they produce remarkable results 
Hallelujah. And he said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. When Balak told Balaam to curse Israel, he said, I have been commanded to bless. This I have done and it cannot be reversed. I declare, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your hands be blessed. Yeah. Scripture said they are taken for a prey and none said restore. There must be a voice to cry restoration in the name that is above all names. I command restoration of all the years the canker worm has eaten and the palma worm. Let there be restoration now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side. None shall harm you. Only with you, your eyes will you watch and behold the reward of the wicked. You see bomb blasts everywhere. There's nowhere that looks safe again. The only place of safety is the name of the Lord. For the Bible says it is a tower. A strong tower. I declare. Anyone marked for death here. Or any family marked for death. Either by witchcraft. Bomb blast. Assassins. Or any kind of political wickedness. The blood of Jesus. Separates you from the spirit of death. You shall not die. You shall not die. Not by accident. Not by bomb blast. Not by terrorism. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, As for me and my house, I prayed for you. Now I pray for your house. In the name that is above all names, whatever has mocked the god of israel in your house we change that report right now whatever has mocked the god of israel sarah said those who laugh at me have now laughed with me i declare we change the story of your family and his mother named him jabez because she said i bore him in sorrow and Jabez prayed and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Any name that has been given to you because of your past and is following you today, we change that name right now. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for you right now. Lift your hands. Let the empowerment of the Holy Ghost Please lift your hands. Just, I just have one minute. There will be impartations right now. The anointing of the Spirit. All kinds of gifts of the Spirit. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it. Receive it. Prophetic anointings. Apostolic anointings. Healing anointings. Take it. Take it. Take it. Everywhere. Inside and outside entrepreneurship anointings receive it business ideas receive it let the spirit of excellence come upon you right now every dead prayer life in this place I command it to come back alive every dead word life I command it to come back alive now Go and heal the sick. Go and cast out devils. I call you an ambassador with the equipping of heaven. Go and represent the value system of heaven. Go and be a light. Change people's situations. Speak over their lives. Hallelujah. Give Jesus praise. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you.
Keep forward.